Hitler's coming. Someone in this family needs to fight him. First broken nail, she's out of here. You should see the girls that work the factory floor. They actually make something that matters. You think the rules don't apply to you? I'm the same as any other woman here. What am I supposed to do? Just sit back while the rest of the world fights? They don't need you. The boys need our help. Bomb Girls, series premiere, Wednesday, January 4th on Global. Go get him. So hello once again. I'm Tim. With me as always, to my left, Sue Maynard. <laughs> hello, hello. And tonight we are joined by, I'm going to get your last name wrong, ahead of time, it's Charlotte Hegel. Hegley. Hegley. Yeah. All right. It's very close. <laughs> as she says, never again. <laughs> and Charlotte, of course, is currently starring in Global TV series Bomb Girls. Mm -hmm. Which Tim and I love. Oh. <laughs> we are just in yeah. love with Thank it you. right from the get-go. Yeah, fantastic. Thank and of course, so Shaw Media has been very appreciative and, and has set us up to chat with you guys. Mm, so that's great. Yeah. So we like to start off nice and easy. And we're going to move that just a little closer. Okay. Just let, me, uh, let me know if I need to speak up. Or... You'll be fine. You'll okay. be fine. <laughs> um, Charlotte's not feeling her best today. <laughs> no. Favorite movies? Favorite movies. Yeah. This is our getting to know you question. Well, I have a lot, I That's guess. Right. Everybody um, does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I can't not say Breakfast at Tiffany's. I always really like that one. Um, I also really liked uh, Truman Capote's short stories and, and oh. parts as well, so that's why I think I really love that movie. And also uh, Murder by Death, mm -hmm. Neil Simon. Yeah. I remember seeing it when I was younger, and I didn't really get most of the jokes, but then I got to revisit it when I was a bit older and, and get more of the references, and I think they helped me. My parents were always really, uh, they showed me a lot of comedy. I guess also Monty Python that I, at the oh, time, of course, you. I don't, I didn't really, I was eight, right? I, I, I didn't really get too much of it, but then I was able to appreciate it more when I... Those guys sure are silly. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so... Um, My brother and I were similar with the Flintstones. <laughs> it got actually funnier as we got older. Yeah. We were like, oh... There's a whole level of comedy that we did not understand as children. It was all just slapstick. Right? No, you're you're a lot younger than both Sue and I, so you're just you're just starting out, really, basically. You, you've done a few things, but how did you get involved with Bomb Girls? I like any other project, I auditioned for it. And then did you do the the tapes? Self tape. Yeah. Well, no. When they first started, they were auditioning from Toronto, nice. out of Toronto. So I had an initial audition, and then I had a call back. And I was told then that they weren't quite sure, so they asked me to do a self tape. So I did a self tape, and then I had two more callbacks after that. So I had it was over about a month and a half period of time where I, I was going between um, feeling like I did really like a good a good audition, then not hearing anything, then thinking I didn't I get it, then going like, going through yeah like the grieving process and then like, getting called. But they were not sure, but come in again. It was like okay, but you know it was it was all worth it, and uh, of course. And especially when you're, uh, I can only imagine, assembling such a, a big group of, uh, such a big cast, you need to make sure that everyone works together, oh, not yeah. just as an ensemble, as not, yeah. just a, not just an ensemble. Well, yeah, Jody said that last night, that, you know, you guys are now, like, core group of almost best friends. Mm -hmm. You just well, chat back and forth, you're always there. Well, I mean, this was sort of my first, my first long-term project that I got to work on, so I, I think, yeah, I've been a bit lucky in that respect that I, I've been told through other actresses and actors experience that it's not always like that it's either it's either people do really click or they don't and, and you kind of it's made it made the entire experience a lot better I think that everyone they hired including the crew as well like all the actors and all the crew and the producers and the directors and and uh, everyone was really lovely and no there was there weren't any jerks yeah <laughs> <laughs> hopefully that answered you. I don't oh, totally. remember your question. I guess if we, we ramble, it's all And then you good. get, like, Meg Tilly and Peter Abridge, like, just sort of, you know, they're like the heads of house, basically, is how I was seeing them in the show, yeah. out of the two episodes that we've seen. Yes. I was almost like, Meg Tilly's like their house mother, practically, where yeah, she's just, just, like, the presence on screen, and then everybody else is sort of formed around her. Mm -hmm. No, Meg was, Meg was lovely, such a pleasure to work with, and I really was, and the first day that I met her was um, a read-through, mm -hmm. and I was shooting, there's, an, in the last episode, you uh, saw some pictures of my character in a bathing suit, yes. and those pictures were actually shot before we started filming. So the wow. scene was to sort of set up in a way to recreate the, the, the pictures that were shot. Those And then so what happened was I was in the bathing suit. I was doing the pictures and then all of a sudden I just see Meg Tilly. Kind of like oh, there's no. a big group of people like forming around and there's Meg Tilly and I got really, <laughs> really excited. And I was like, I'm in a bathing suit and I want to say hi, but 
what do, what, what do I say? And But no, like, it was kind of instantly, the whole demeanor was just so lovely and humble. And, you know, she was, she didn't, she never, she didn't seem like, she didn't seem like anyone but, I don't know, her, herself. She wasn't trying to put on any, any ears at any point, which was really nice. And then, then through the entire process, she was, if, if an actor had, like, an issue that day, she was just so giving mm -hmm. and lovely and willing to talk. And, and even though, because shooting a series, even for an experienced actor, Meg told me that it was hard to be able to get, like, scenes, like, or scripts a day or two in advance yeah. and then have to somehow learn it in, 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 in prep, but you don't have the time to prep. So she, but she, but some actors, I could imagine, would deal with that stressful situation and block everyone out and be like, I have to focus, but Meg never, never was that. She had people come up to her minutes before she shot a, shot a really emotional scene, and she was just so lovely and, and patient and, and listened and really connected with that person. Wow. Versus... Which is pretty much what her character does, too, in a way. Yeah, yeah but... In a different way, but it's like, she's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> she's so... I'm so happy that she's back on the screen again. Mm -hmm. She was missed. Okay, and you brought it up, and I do have to mention it, because I mentioned it in the blog. Those pictures are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because they look like, you know, in the, and you could actually imagine that somewhere down the line, mm -hmm. when they're getting the bombers ready to fly overseas, that people are going to be painting that image on the side of the planes and yeah. like name them, you know, Betty, Betty and, and Kate, and you could you could see that that's where that picture would go, and I'm just like, that's just awesome, and you look fantastic. Thank you so. very much. It was fun, yeah. It was kind of because at first it was in the script. It just said, you know, she went to a photographer and she was in a. A very shocking bathing suit, and when they actually gave me the bathing suit, I'm like, "This isn't shocking." <laughs> like, I, yeah. Oh, okay. I can, I can wear this because I was a little bit, I was a bit nervous just to, to for that to be my first day and for that to be what what I was doing. But then I was like, "This is nothing." Bring it on. All right. It was funny. Yeah. Now, how much of this side of World War II did you know about? We, we spoke about it last night. Where I had seen the posters growing up, you know, do our part. In the factories, but I didn't know enough of the story. I knew it had happened, I just didn't know. Yeah, no, I, I don't think a lot of Canadians do. It was definitely not, the women's role in uh, World War II was definitely not something I learned in history. It was mainly focused, of course, on um, the fight overseas and, yeah. and the men, and men's role. But it's interesting because so many people who heard of the show will go, oh, well, I had a mom or, or, or my aunt or my grandmother or, who, who worked in a factory. So it's it's interesting how many people um, can also directly relate to, yeah. to yeah. it. And I mean... No, sorry, sorry go please. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, because we were just saying on our way over because, you know, did a little research and we saw that your grandfather was a CMO. Yeah. And we were talking and we're like, oh, my grandfather served in the infantry and he was in the European theater. And I'm like, I don't know if he was there for like June 6th, but if he got through any of that and still came back, that's amazing. <laughs> and then Zeus was, uh, was a pilot. Yeah. So it's just, so everybody's, everybody's got it. Just we don't hear yeah. enough about that side on the home front anymore, yeah. which is too bad. And my dad was born June 5th. No. So uh, he always jokes that like his dad waited till his first song was born before he uh, went here. Oh. Really? Kicks some ass on D-Day. <laughs> wow. Shivers Pretty sure that's how it happened too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the manners to thank. Yeah. But it's, it's also interesting because it's really it is it is really unfortunate. But a lot of the men and women who, you know, were soldiers at this time, they're they're slowly dwindling. Um, oh, they are. Yeah. yeah. So I, they just no, they just announced like a while ago that the last survivor of the First World War finally passed. I think a mess just. I mean, so, you don't want to lose that part of history. No. So. And it's, but it's also so interesting as well. You know, you know, it to to be able to. Um, oh well, and speaking of. And like, the thing is, too, because I sorry, no, I, do it, that just do reminded it. me that because um, my grandfather since passed away, but one of my hugest regrets is that we never got to sit down and talk with him about any of that. But I don't think he actually wanted to no. either. <laughs> want yeah. to go back and relive that, but it's unfortunate that we're losing so much Yeah, my grandfather what's never wanted to go back to that. <laughs> yeah. He never wanted to talk about it. He kept, he kept his medals kind of like, they were in a display case, but he never talked about it. And, and as a kid, you were, I was just like, can I have those? I know. And now looking back, I'm like, one, you should never have asked that question. <laughs> Two, you have no right to even ask that question because you didn't do anything to earn them. It's just, yeah, so now I feel yeah. really bad about that. Oh, no, you were a child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a child. What do I know? They were shiny. Yeah, no, when my, when my grandfather was alive, I didn't, I was so young, I didn't uh, talk to him either about mm -hmm. it. And it is one of those, you sort of regretful yeah. about it. Because, I mean, how else does the story get passed along? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who else would you play in the series? 
That's a tough one. Um, That's what Jody said. And then she had to admit something very embarrassing in the oh. chair. Um, I don't, it's so, it's, it's a good question. Um, <laughs> I think that, depending on where I am in my life, I would probably want to play different characters. I don't know if I could just choose mm -hmm. one, because they're all so, but everything with the women specifically, they're all painted so um, colorfully. And, yeah. and I mean, on the other hand, though, the great thing, the, the great thing, we're sort of fighting against children and, yeah. and coffee machines. Um, <laughs> So many of the of the parts when I read them versus when I get to see them acted out. A lot of the scenes I wasn't present for when they shot. Mm -hmm. So to be able to see that, and all the scenes that I wasn't present right. for, we watch it every Wednesday. That's amazing for me because I, I got to read it on, on the page and actually yeah. see what the actors do with it. So I feel, you know, this doesn't answer your question at all. But I feel like <laughs> if I were to do a character, it would be completely different than how one of the other actors did. Yeah. Sure. And, you know, Gladys had amazing clothes. <laughs> I was um, there was a point in like the month into shooting because it, that's the great thing about the wardrobe is that they were trying very hard to make it true to the time it wasn't like we were, each character had 20 outfits yeah. my character had four dresses yeah. that, that I, I had and, and that was it and that's what she would have had right and um, and I remember going up to the writer uh, Michael and I was like or the producers well Michael and I was like can he just give me one more dress <laughs> just one more and then Lisa. please <laughs> So I might keep Mike in another dress <laughs> later on. I don't want to give too much away. Big spoiler. But, um, there, yeah. You know, so yeah, Gladys had amazing clothes. Uh, you know, I, I loved I loved the story of uh, it is every single story actually. Lorna, mm -hmm. Vera, Edith, Betty. Yeah. I felt like each of them would be um, would be a pleasure to kind of get into their minds and figure yeah. them out. Yeah. So I'm sorry I didn't answer your question. No. Specifically, I, good. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> it's funny because when I watched the first episode, I'm like, "Yeah, this is good. I like this. I like the character dynamics." And she had already seen it because yeah, I watched that it. sucked. I had to wait a day because yeah, we went to yeah. work. I guess yeah, because she watched it on television. And okay. I don't have television. I just watch it on global online. Oh. And as soon as it was up, I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch it. And she's like, yeah, let me know when you get to the horrifying part. <laughs> oh, no. There's a part that you'll be like, like, oh, no. What? Oh, my dear Lord. And I'm like sitting there going, this is so good. I'm loving this. This is great. And the, the actors, I'm, I'm making notes the whole way through it yeah. for the review later. <laughs> and then the little incident with the hook and the scalp. But I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm texting her going, why would you not warn me about oh, that? No. It just, and at that point, it though, to steal a really mean pun, I was hooked. It was, <laughs> it was I'm like, I need to see how all of this ends, because it's mm -hmm. so well written, so well put together, so well acted. Mm -hmm. I just had to get And it's stuff like that, because it's not like you saw it coming. coming. No. It wasn't like a it's horror just, movie where the music's yeah. playing, and you're like, oh, something's going to happen now. Just, but it I, was just, I, that's what made it horrifying, and that's what made it realistic. But it was, uh, the, 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 I think that the, the way that they have written every part and, and the storylines is that everyone, every character sort of goes through has scenes where they, you know, they're not necessarily good all the time and they're not necessarily bad, yeah. they're, they're very they're human, they're very yeah. realistic, yeah. which I, which is, you know, one of the reasons that was such a pleasure to be able to, to act, yeah. is that it didn't feel like I ever had to, I don't know, it, didn't, it never felt unnatural, the, the choices that were already written in the script. So, um, well, and, and that's the thing, though, because every one of the performances seems very natural and believable. Yeah. I mean, I was speaking to Sue while you were getting your tea, I'm like, I can't get used to her not in like a 40s outfit. It just doesn't seem right because in my brain, <laughs> you're Kate. So yeah, it's just, you were, you are, you I are think Kate. I referred to Joey as Gladys yeah. once. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it yeah. Completely, a joke. You, you guys inhabit those characters so well. Yeah, thank you very much. It's just fantastic. We had to know. Do you do your own singing? I do do my own singing. <laughs> nice. Because, yeah, because we were like. She can't. Oh. That's it. <laughs> wow. Okay, because I just had to know that for personal, for yeah. personal information. That's um, fantastic. It was, yeah, it was, um, and I had to sing also in all the auditions that I did. So yeah, it did. <laughs> make, it kind like, of brings the kind of brings the bar up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, but the one time I went and and I. Uh, there was um, this Billy side story. A lot of the girls who auditioned, I guess, were classical, classically trained, okay. like singers or jazz singers. I mean, I've had training, but never, I've never done any testing. Sure. Or, you know, I just don't yeah. do it as a as a fun pastime. Yeah. Yeah. And they asked me, they're like, "Can you just go out and like sing a jazz song for us? Do you have any prepared in okay. your repertoire?" And I wasn't prepared, and I was like, "I could do something from a musical, like <laughs> Chicago. Like I know that's not really like, like you know, uh, so what did you a use standard." 
I, I sang um, the Queen Latifah when, when you're, you're good, good to, to mama. mama. Yeah, I sang that. And uh, but it was funny because I was kind. I kind of went back into the room and I was like, "What do I sing? What do I sing?" And all these girls are like, like doing like uh, crazy scatting and everything, and they're all like getting prepared. And I was like, "Well, I was, you know, I was, I was, I was, no chance compared to everyone else." Yeah, it was. Uh, Kate wouldn't have been classically trained. No, that's, that's, right. that's the yeah. thing. Yeah, I think that. I think that's how they weed people why, out. I think that's perhaps why I. Uh, I had a quality to me, the yeah. Um, I can sing something I've seen in a movie. <laughs> How about that? There's a, there's a, quite a bit of singing in tonight's episode. I was going to say, from everything we've read, it sounds like a very Kate-centric episode. Yeah. Well, I you know I don't I don't know. <laughs> it is much as in any of them are. Yeah, exactly. I feel yeah. Like yeah there's always a really good balance. balance. It always seems like there's more. Yeah, there's a main A kind of story. Yeah, there's always I feel like a good balance between oh, all the yeah. characters, and yeah. I'm so excited because like I I mean I know what ha like I know what happens in the story, but there are certain characters that. Like I know their 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 big scene or something's gonna come up in this week, and I'm just get so excited to, to be able to see it, and for the audience to be able to, to see it. Oh, and, um, yeah, I gotta so wait yeah. tomorrow to see it. No. But I will. It's cool too, cause like it, when you can watch it live, like cause they're like tweeting online yeah. the whole time. <laughs> Everybody's just going crazy. Yeah, see, I, I won't look now at my Twitter until tomorrow I know. night. Oh yeah, just because Spoilers. I don't wanna I don't <laughs> yeah. wanna know, cause it'll ruin the experience. And I know I'm gonna love it. That's what I did. Was I, I was it last week? I think we got home. I got home late, and uh, it was like just ending, but my PVR was recording it, so I just hit play and like watched it like the hour after it was actually on. But I'm like, I can't go on Twitter now for like an hour because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get spoiled all over the place. So, so I did not. Now, in the first two episodes, we've seen a couple really tough scenes between you and the man who plays your father. So I'm gonna, and now. What kind of mindset they have to because even watching those scenes it's it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. and you know is that tough to do to kind of get in that mindset to like this is a scene where my father's going to hit me kind of thing and that's well, I guess, yeah, no, it's kind of... Oh, I was not expecting this question. <laughs> um, Bam! Yeah, it, it, I guess it also, I guess, would really depend on the on the actors you work with as mm -hmm. well. And I never felt uncomfortable with any of the actors. And, 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 uh, and also on, on set and, and with uh, with the crew. It is, like, I just, like, just emotionally kind of prepare to get into that. Yeah. I, uh, you know, you, you do have to kind of go to, um, I don't know, because it, it, the thing, the interesting, I'm probably not going to answer your question again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, You're the interesting great. thing, the interesting thing about about you know playing characters that have been so horribly uh, mis mistreated in their lives and, and have so much emotional scarring is that you can't really play the emotional scarring because nobody does. Like every single person on earth, I'm sure, has had a moment yeah. where they just feel like you know like the lowest of the low, and they feel like you know, but it's, it's it's not really playing that. It's it's more focusing on future and, and, mm -hmm. and when and the, and the you know what your what your what you as a person will make from it so kind of doing those scenes I never like doing the bathtub scene for example was an entire different oh, kettle of fish because it was uh, <laughs> it was I was in a bathtub and yeah. it was always it was, it was a funny scene to shoot actually um, <laughs> and even though I'm sure it looked I, yeah, it to was, someone who was didn't intense. know the backstory it was probably yeah. very frightening but yeah. for me I yeah it, 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 it um, I don't know. I don't know if I answered your question. No, that's, that's great. I just <laughs> if that makes the, any sense, you it know. It does. It just. I just love the fact that when I watch this show, I empathize so much with all the female characters, and for the most part, I just get nothing but pissed off at the male characters. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, How right. can you treat these oh, people no. like that? <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Well, you know, in in, in I, I won't give away too much, but certain characters kind of have a. They develop a little bit more. Okay. I, I yeah. will say that. So. Yeah. Well, but yeah, no, I agree. Expect, it is. It just, is. I, even now, like I, we talked about it the other day. I just, I don't understand the mindset that that was ever acceptable. Not, a, not to mention so socially well, it, prevalent. It's just well, it boggles. Well, that and also the fact that I think it's kind of, you know, to get into it. I don't know if we have enough time, but <laughs> I feel like, uh, you know, as a society, um, we're really desensitized to rape and abuse and it, we really are like I, I and it's kind of you know because even you can watch something on online or you read an article online and people's comments are just so full of yeah. like what's the problem with this or are they're full of you know hateful yeah. commentary and I think it either is a combination of people not really understanding the full severity of yeah. 
of it, or or they're trying to they, like they don't, offset it yeah, with, or they don't, yeah, like they don't humor. Well, and, and the whole fact that it's also the internet and I can say anything because you don't yeah. know who I am. <laughs> yeah, but the fact, I, I, just, I don't really understand people who... No, I don't get it. Anyway, I'm understood. sorry, this, I don't no, know why I got, got here. Can I tell you about the bathtub scene? Do it! <laughs> Um, I anyway, want to hear why so, it was funny. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I was, uh, I kind of, they wanted me to kind of have my eyes open, and I had earplugs in, and I had Vaseline up my nose, because they didn't want any bubbles coming out of my nose, they just wanted it coming out of my nose, so I, okay. like, it's completely, sh like, a lot of Vaseline, like, oh I put a little God. bit, in, like, the stent coordinator's like, no way, you gotta, and she shoved a lot more, <laughs> and I literally couldn't breathe uh, through my nose, and they put me in the bathtub, and the, the director for that episode, Adrian, was, uh, because like it's you're underwater too, I have earplugs in, and she was all I could hear was, "Open your eyes!" But it was like wild because I was underwater. She's like, "Larger!" And, it was, and I mean, like in a, you know, it, it was supposed to be a really dramatic scene, but at the end of it, I was like, "That's kind of." It was kind of funny. <laughs> because I'm sure everyone else could hear her crystal clear, but I, I couldn't because I was underwater and had earplugs in. And womp, womp, womp. Yeah, but um, it was overall it was, it was a good scene. Yeah. <laughs> I do my own stuff. Yeah, that always looks good. Huh? <laughs> and you've also you kind of jumped around in time now. We're just going to kind of step away from Bomb Girls for a second. All right. Because you've been in the 1890s because of the Murdoch Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Then you were in the 60s on a stage play, The Bell Soars. Yes. And now you're back in the 40s. You know, <laughs> it's just, I'm like, she's doing a lot of Canadian yeah. history. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really cool. But, I mean, do we see a trend here? Is this something, do you see yourself stuck in, in period pieces? Period pieces? Yeah. I don't think stuck is necessarily no, no, inappropriate. Sorry, that was definitely appropriate. the wrong word. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, no, no, I think, I think, you know, as most actors who are starting out, you don't really get to choose. What you, what you what you're cast in, yeah. and um, I don't have any problem with doing you know historical pieces, or you know even if it's not based in, in entirely in fact, yeah. with a sense of a of a fictional element to it. I uh, I really do enjoy getting to dress up in fabulous <laughs> outfits, <laughs> even though I ha even though I might have to demand it from the producer. Um, just one more. Dress. Just one more. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, I definitely enjoy period, and it was, it was interesting. I've, I've been told, even though prior to getting cast in Murdoch and in Bomb Girls, that I had an um, element about me that seemed very period. Yeah, it was very. Yeah. You know, so I, I mean, I, I have no, no problem. I, I would love to continue to get cast, cast in. Do it. You'd be like the Canadian History Girl. Sure. <laughs> it would be a whole series. <laughs> Tonight, Charlotte goes to 1810. I have to talk to. No, I just forgot the name of the show. Forget it. <laughs> Helen Rapp was uh, was one of the Bomb Girls consultants, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, did you get a chance to talk to her at the Ottawa screening when? Uh... Briefly. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. There was Queenie and Helen. Okay. Oh, oh, I think so. Yeah. 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 They mentioned another one in the. If you can read my writing. I'm so, I'm I'm a little bit I'm a little bit I'm really awful with names. So as soon as I get a name, it kind of just yes. pulls out of my head. But I always remember Queenie's name because she's such. That's an awesome name. <laughs> she was so yeah. she was so sweet. She was like, it's my real name, and for years. I had to like she had to bring her gift, uh, birth certificate with her places because oh, everyone thought man. she was lying. Yo, no, getting to speak to both of those uh, women were just uh, it was sort of a phenomenal experience to, to, to you know be yeah. able to talk to someone who you know and also and also it for them to be able to watch it and, and afterwards they they both kind of made it clear that they were really proud of the of the fact that we, we did this we did the show and that their story was going to be yeah. going to be told. So, yeah, but it was yeah, it was kind of the, during the during the time they were kind of the, the stars that night. Oh, so yeah. it was to kind, of, to kind of get a few few sentences with yeah. them was a bit it was a bit challenging because everyone was just hovered around. <laughs> we all want to talk. That would be yeah. That, now we spoke about it briefly with, with Jody. Mm -hmm. There's rumors, just rumors right now, <laughs> of a second series. Now, are you, would you be willing to come back for a second series, or is yes. there enough stories to tell? For uh, a definitely, series? definitely. I think that the last episode <laughs> kind of leaves a lot of storylines hanging. Excellent. So perhaps, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not in production. I don't know how it works. Of but course, um, yeah. if if there's, I guess, enough response from viewers that 
they, they will do a second a second oh, season and possibly so even more so. <laughs> but um but it might even it might even be more than six episodes. I would I don't know, it's just all exactly it's all rumors. I'm yeah. not even I don't I have no idea. <laughs> so um, just along for the ride. So yeah, just as long and I mean the the response the response that we've gotten from viewers has just been so overwhelming. Yeah, it's really touched and positive. Yeah. Yeah. And I uh, those individuals want want to see more. Then hopefully, oh, yeah. you know, hopefully we'll be able to. Especially if they leave it open at the end, deliver. people will just be like, yeah, "What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be awesome. Yeah, we're, we're all over." It. And we were, we were talking with Jody about it because we were talking about how we like the format of like six six episodes and then, yeah, and then leave it for a yeah. bit, yeah. take a break because yeah. the quantity isn't necessarily anywhere near as important as the quality of what's being turned out. Right mm-hmm. now, so. We're like, I'd be happy. Just do like chunks of six every once in a while. Oh yeah. Well, well, well yeah. I, I, mean, I would. I would love it. I would, it would because it's just another thing. Everyone, as I said, no one was a jerk, so I would love to be able to work with everybody again. That was. And it's, it was. It was sort of yeah. When we when we wrapped, it was kind of. It's, it was a bit strange because we're like, are we saying goodbye for a long time? Are we going to see <laughs> yeah. you next year? Like, it's hard to. It's hard to know. Anyway, so fingers crossed. Oh yeah. But then again, I don't know. It's just a rumor. Maybe maybe we have no chance. Maybe we're well, discussing I, it. And maybe if we just keep rumoring. Yeah, but if we start that rumor, <laughs> going, that's what it is. Well, I think I think well, I can't remember who we were talking about it with about uh, the whole fact that it might need to be expanded. Oh, it was Paul. It was Paul we were talking about that with how it might need we might have to bring in an American company to kind of help co-produce it. Oh yeah. The cost for another six episodes. That yeah, might he has a lot of knowledge of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, either way, we are there. Yeah, we're sure. just like, but I like it. <laughs> Can we have And is there anything else, is there more or anything else coming up for you personally? Like, for, uh, for acting, yeah. acting wise? Uh, no. Oh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> pretend and say, oh yes, but I can't talk about it. Um, I mean, I've been, uh, I've been auditioning a lot. But then that's the, I mean, this business is just so competitive. Yeah. And it's, and that's the, because I've been getting emails from people that are being like, what's your next move? Are you going to go to LA? Yeah. Or are you, are you staying? Like, what project are you doing next? Like, what have you been offered? And I'm like, literally nothing. What? I've just, but I mean, I've had other things in my, in my life that well, I've been yeah. focusing on you. But so. it's just, it's just hard to believe that nobody is. You know, well, okay. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm kind of, I mean, I've been, I've, you know, I've, I've gotten auditions and I've okay. had opportunities to, to look at new projects. I think that'll change, though. I think uh, by the end of the, we'll the sixth episode run, yeah, I think that'll change in every We'll see. And yeah. it, I don't know. And, and also, I'm kind of... Uh, so inarticulate, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of... Um, Me too. <laughs> I am, um, and also I'm sure I have a, a fever or something right now. You got one of those. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe that's yeah. Yeah. That's that's how we end it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To be continued, as it were. But you know, that's that's great, Charlotte. Thank you for joining us this Thank evening. Thank you very much. This is Sue. That's just me. And I'm Tim. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Tell you one thing, Fred, darling. I'd marry you for your money in a minute. Would you marry me for my money? In a minute. I guess it's pretty lucky neither of us is rich, huh?